Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And as you see here, this is a um, article off of the Guardian.com. Michigan tells majority so-called black, all right, which are um, the tribe of Judah, according to the Holy Scriptures. All right, these names are uh, ultimately meant to cause confusion, and it's a part of their pseudoscience and agenda against the chosen people of the Heavenly Father to cut them off as a nation. All right, um, so there's no such thing as black. There's no nation known as black all right black is a color all right and when you go into the color psychology is dealing with the void of light you know evil you know um and uh ultimately it has nothing to do with who we are okay so michigan tells majority of so-called black city not to drink tap water amid lead crisis okay now, you would think that this would be um, something that they fought hard to fix. All right. But as you uh, can see, this has been going on for years. All right. This is um, ultimately um, chemical warfare being practiced upon our people. All right. Which is nothing new. Uh, and this is happening in more places than Michigan. But there's a uh, eye, a special eye that's been on Michigan to bring out this uh, disaster. OK, because this is I mean, we've been hearing about the Michigan water crisis forever. OK, and they put billions of dollars into all of these different things, war. All right. Um, you know, they, they put all of these abortion clinics in these different neighborhoods, but they for some reason they can't fix the contaminated water. It says Benton Harbor residents have had lead contamination water for at least three years. As activists call on state to do more, you shouldn't have to call on anyone. It should just be done. But we know where we are and we understand that this isn't our rest. All right. As uh, this new Rome is wearing out the saints, <laughs> as prophecy said they would. And we'll get into that. And this um, as we read this article, this shows you that there's nothing new under the sun, because when you go to the ancient Roman Empire, it was the same thing. All right. They had lead in the water, which became, you know, at, at one point a crisis. Now, when you do some studies that say that, you know, the, the levels of lead weren't as bad. In ancient Rome. Right. But in other places, it says it is. But what we're going to do is we're just going to bring it out. This is an article. All right. Off of uh, global water dot org. It says lead in water. From ancient Rome to Flint and beyond. OK, we just go to the historical uh, background right here. OK, it says. Um, ancient Rome was well known. OK, let's see if we can. Ancient Rome was well known for its extensive plumbing and piped water as wastewater network and wastewater network. Much of that network consisted of lead pipes. In fact, lead was so synonymous with the piping infrastructure that the word plumbing was derived from the Latin word plumbum. All right. So a lot of the words well, even that that shows you where in Rome again as well as a lot of the words that we have uh, that we speak here in this English language, which is a bastard language. A lot of them derive from um, the Latin, uh, which was spoken by the Romans. It says. The extensive use of lead in ancient Rome gave rise to a theory that uh, that the presence of lead pipes eventually led to the downfall of the Roman Empire. OK, now, when you do the research, it didn't lead to the downfall of it as one specifically that that was the only thing. But, you know, the, there's effects that lead have on the people. OK, which, you know, you can look it up on your own. But it was one of the things that led to the downfall. It's not the thing. There was many things. Inflation. All right. Uh, women's uh, liberation. Um, the, the moral decay. OK. Uh, lewdness. 
over uh, expansion of uh, your war, your war, uh, your military, all you know, over expanded, which is the same thing that's happening here in Babylon the Great. And you would think that uh, you know they would learn from the past, all right? But as the scriptures say, there is nothing new under the sun, so they're bound to do the same things as prophecy tells you they would do. All right, it says, however, however, a recent study of lead isotopes found a preserving piping and preserved piping and then the dredged sediment downstream of Rome suggests that the tap water in ancient Rome was indeed contaminated with, with, with lead, but levels were not high enough to be harmful, ruling out the lead poisoning theory. All right, but we do know that lead was in the water and when you go into other research it shows you that particular people were being poisoned by it okay it says the downfall of the roman empire also led to a decline in the use of centralized water infrastructure until growing cities in the united states and europe during the industrial revolution began using pipes to carry drinking water and wastewater Although lead was more expensive than iron, it lasted longer and its uh, millability meant that it could be easily shaped around existing buildings and structures. This led to the installation of lead pipes on a massive scale in the United States. By the 1900s, more than 70% of the cities. All right, with more than 30,000 persons use lead water uh, lines, all right? And basically, you can look up the effects of lead on your, your health when it's too much. And you know that they're, you know, they're, they're damn, they're poisoning Jake, okay? The public health impacts of lead pipes and uh, soda became evident soon after, see? Incidences of lead poisoning due to water consumption were reported with increasing frequency in scientific articles and news reports. By the 1920s, many cities had concluded that the public health risk of using lead pipes outweighed its engineering advantages and prohibited or limited the use of lead pipes through revisions to the local and, plumbing, uh, and state plumbing codes. All right, and you can keep reading more on that. But uh, we see that same issue happening here in Babylon the Great. Now, um, this is uh, uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter, in the 11th verse. It says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. This is speaking of America. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. Okay, he exercised all the power. Okay, let's look at this word, exercise it. Okay. So there's no new thing under the sun. He exercised it. That word is poye o. Let's get here. Strong's G forty one sixty poye o. Poye o. To make, to make ready, to prepare, to acquire, to render anything, to constitute or appoint. So they're appointing ancient Rome all over, and um, the Apostle Gabar just did a video where the word NATO, which is a part of the rebirth of Rome, along with the NATO, uh, along with the EU and Babylon the Great, uh, with Babylon the Great being the head of it, means uh, birth. So, you know, the, the you have the Treaty of Rome and all of these various different things that led to the rebirth of the ancient Roman Empire, okay? To put one forth, to do a thing, to designate, Okay, to promise, look up the vines expository. To do, to make, spending a time, okay, and so forth. I'll say, so he exercised it, okay, he appointed, he produced, <laughs> all right. Let's read it again. He exercised all the power of the first beast before him, okay, which that's going back to Rome. And calls it the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. 
in the daily wound was healed starting with the renaissance period what wound was healed the edomite thought edomite power structure all right esau as a whole all right for a period of a thousand years after the western roman empire declined and fell okay uh a thousand years later uh around roughly some say 1100 but it goes with prophecy a thousand years the deadly wound was healed via the renaissance which means rebirth so they rebirth all the ways of ancient rome back into the earth that's what the classics were all about okay dealing with the uh the renaissance which is started in italy but um it was various other places as well because remember rome was a uh it was a mindset as well. It was a, it was it was so powerful that it controlled the minds of, of land masses that weren't even uh, too close to it. But ultimately, America exercised all the power of the first beast before it. All right. The Senate, everything that we're witnessing goes back to ancient Rome, which gives light to the very uh, scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes, the first chapter. OK. That there is nothing new under the sun. All right. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that had been, it is that which shall be. And the thing that is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. All right. Even the, the, the Tower of Babel being rebuilt is happening again, but it's in a technological sense. Is there any... Thing whereof it may be said, see, this is new. It had already been of old time, which uh, was before us. No, it's, it's already, uh, uh, it had already been done. So nothing's new. Okay. And the, and the people who did those things and who were at the forefront of doing those things, uh, the, 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 the uh, emperors and all that, they're back as well. But the thing is, is verse 11, there is no remembrance of former things. Neither shall there be any remembrance of that are that are to come with those who shall come after. All right. Because the Lord blocks out your past life. Now you have what you call deja vu because there's particular points where you'd be like, man, I remember I've been in the, I've been here, but, but you can't really put it all together. All right. Because imagine if you knew your past life. Um, as a matter of fact, there's a prophecy that lets you know man has been here already as well. You you lose your mind, okay? Let's see here. It is known that it is man. Let's see. You lose your mind knowing your past life. So the Lord doesn't allow us to fully tap into that. Okay, but we've all been here before. This is Ecclesiastes 6 and 10. That which has been named. Let me start over. That which had been named been is named already that which had been is named already and it is known that it is man see that neither may he contend with him that is mightier than he so the lord has set up men to do particular things and this current ruler which are the biblical edomites are doing the exact same things that rome did all right now i was looking at uh this documentary money with mike maloney and he's look, talking about inflation. He said, you would think that the people, the powers that be, would not fall into the same traps as the empires prior to them. But they are because the Lord put a spirit in them to do particular things, man. Just as he put a spirit on the prophets to go out and prophesy. Okay, and the prophets have been since the world began now. It says residents of a majority black city, so-called black city in Michigan, have been advised by the state not to use tap water for drinking, bathing or cooking. Out of an abundance of caution owing to lead contamination, man. Now, let's look up lead contamination real quick to see exactly what this can do to you. Um, lead contamination. symptoms see uh oh and this is a, this is a, a very big amongst Jake 
high blood pressure, joint and uh, muscle pain, difficulties with memory and concentration. And it's in the water that we bathe in because you'll say, well, I won't drink it. Well, when you bathe, your, your, your pores are open. Your skin is an open vessel. That's why it's very important not to put too much damn chemicals, you know, uh, uh, on your skin. Use natural things, the oils, but it says salves and stuff like that. It says uh, difficulty with memory and concentration, headache, and we all go through these things. Abdominal pain, mood disorders, reduced sperm count and, and, and abnormal sperm. And we know this is one of the main things that they have been attacking in Jake. Okay, is their ability to reproduce as they did in ancient uh, Egypt. Okay. They did it in ancient Egypt, man. They said what? Uh, uh, destroy all of the man children of the Hebrews. Now, in today's time, what do you have? Planned Parenthood. So we're living in Egypt all over again. We're living in Rome all over again. We're living in Assyria all over again. We're living in Nineveh. Okay, we're living in Babylon all over again. All of these different uh these different uh, captivities we've been in are, are fulfilled here in America, which is why when you uh, get it, it is known as the mother of all harlots. Because all of those harlots go back to what? Different idols and different idol worship and different, you know, uh, ways that they lived. OK. Which is all rebellion against the Heavenly Father. OK. Putting lead in the water is a way to rebel against the Heavenly Father, but it's more so a way to wear out the saints because these things happen primarily where Jake is heavily populated. Now, it affects even other Edomites, but they're of the lower kind. They don't care about them. Revelation 17 and 5, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. So all of these different rulerships, Okay, the Babylon has tapped into all of those ancient ways. Okay, the Edomites and have uh because what did the Greeks do? They went to Egypt, they went to Babylon for their philosophies and, and idols. Same thing with Rome. Okay, well this this captivity here does the same thing in a in an even greater fashion as they have world domination. The Roman Empire was only uh you know a portion of the earth. Well now they have fulfilled the blessing that was given unto them by Isaac. And that blessing is Babylon the Great, where they've been given free reign to go throughout the four corners of the earth and do whatever they want. Okay? This is uh, uh, Daniel, the seventh chapter, in the 23rd verse. It says, Thus he said, The fourth beast, which is Rome, shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth which shall be diverse from all the kingdoms, all right, because of the way that they brought up their uh, up their uh, their rulers through, what, a senate. I believe that's in 1 Maccabees, the 8th chapter. It goes into that, you know, the uh, Greco-Roman Empire. But this is speaking in, in, in specifically of the, uh, the Roman Empire. Okay, that's how they were diverse, their form of government. Okay. They had a senate and voted in a particular ruler. It says, which, which shall be diverse from all the kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. This is what the Roman Empire did. And the ten horns out of his kingdom are ten kings that shall arise. All right, which are the vassal states. Okay, which there were powers as well, but they added power unto the ancient Roman Empire. They made the ancient Roman Empire a complete beast system, but that system eventually fell. All right, and then it, it goes into what? Babylon coming. That's going to rebirth this whole system. And another shall arise after them. He shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. Okay? And that's the uh, French, the Spanish, the British. Out of the British came Babylon. <clears throat> And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Now, this word to wear out the saints. Bala. It says what? To wear away, to harass constantly. OK, this is one of the ways that Israel is constantly harassed via the water, the food. 
that is readily available to them. It is contaminated. If you notice what's in the neighborhood of Jake liquor stores. OK, of course, the water pipes are all messed up. The food that is readily available to them is downtrodden. It's of the lesser. OK, that's why you, you drive to these Edomite neighborhoods to get some of your uh, your produce and your foods. <laughs> all right. That's a damn shame, but it comes with the captivity. It comes with the territory. This is what he was uh, meant to do. He was uh, in a mental sense, it said, to wear out, to wear out, to to, to wear out by use, to, to be used up completely. And, the, and Esau has used and abused Jake to where we're wore the hell out. That's why we're separating from him. But our people haven't learned their lessons. Let's get Job 9 real quick. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay, he, tr he, he covered up true judgment and he set up a system that harasses us even when we don't know. When you're breathing, you're being harassed because of the things that are in the air. When you're drinking water, you're being harassed. When you're drinking juice, you're being harassed. When you're eating fruit, you're being harassed. Because it's not even it's, it's not even seeds in the majority of them. And the seeds that are in them are genetically altered. This does something to your health. This does something to your mood. This does something to your whole energy. That's why you have high blood pressure. Which that's, you know, there's a lot that goes with that. But just we'll just say it. You, you got the high blood pressure. You got the, uh, uh, the, the bad memory. Your mood's all over the place. Well, a lot of that comes from. Lead poisoning, miscarriage, stillbirth, premature birth in pregnant women. Ain't this happening rampantly? Prophecy said it would happen. The child uh, of, 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 you know, three months would come out early and live. I believe that's in uh, a second address, one of those chapters. Somebody can just post it on the comment board. But fatigue, okay? And children are having these problems. Children uh, 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 um, learning problems, loss of appetite, fatigue, irritability. Here it is. Children are depressed. Okay, why is that? Depression in children is on the rise. It has a lot to do with the foods, the waters. Okay. So less junk, less junk to the children. <laughs> you know, it's like we grew up a particular way where our, our parents didn't have the knowledge, wisdom and understanding we have. So with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding we do have, you know, we can at least try to do better. But it says for at least three years, residents of Benton Harbor, Michigan, have been suffering. But even when you try to do right, it's still contaminated. What's organic to the devil <laughs> is, 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 is toxic to you. Okay. For at least three years, residents of Benton Harbor, Michigan... In more places have been suffering from lead contaminated water with what's what experts describe as insufficient intervention from the state and local officials. Why not, though? Let this have been in a uh, 1948ers neighborhood. Look at this nigga. Damn. Damn, homie. It says, this month the state promised to expand free water distribution in the city. <laughs> they, they can't fix the pipes, though. It says, and reaffirm its commitment to comply with federal lead regulations. So they say the 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 the, the you know the powers that be will say, well, only this much, and they do it with all of the stuff that you eat. There's enough. BS in it. Well, they'll say, well, as long as it's not over this amount, even in candy bars, look it up. There's a percentage of, you know, uh, insect limbs and insect that 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 they allow into it because these factories where these things are produced, 
or what? They're filled with bugs and rats. So you eating chocolate and stuff like that. Well, it's all contaminated with, with bug limbs. But they say, well, as long as it's not over 10 percent, we can still sell it. So they attacked, the, they weaponized the food as a as a way to not only wear you out, but to blame you to the most high and say, look what they are eating. They know who you are. They immediately, when they put us on those slave ships, they changed our diet. Because diet is very, very important, man. And this is, these are things we haven't been taught. We Here it is, brothers and sisters coming into this truth, into the, you know, the... You know, some late teens, 20s and 30s. You know, I came in in my early 20s or mid 20s. We're finding out things that we should have been taught as children. And then our habits are so bad that we're still fighting to get into the right mode. We just got to get out of this flesh, man. All right. It says. Activists who say Pit Benton Harbor's poor water quality is a sign of environmental injustice have been calling on the state to take action for years. Says these are steps in the right direction, but more remains to be done. So you're giving you right water, it's giving you free water. So you got to bathe with this water. <laughs> you got to bathe with damn bottle bottles of water, man. Jugs of water. And you got to get it warm. Goodness gracious, man. Now, who knows what's in that water? And this has been going on for even more than three years, man. So, all you would have to do is just look up lead, you know, lead issues in the water in Rome, showing you we're back in Rome all over again. Now, see, people heighten it by saying, you know, Rome fell because of lead in the water. It was just one of the things amongst many issues that led to the downfall of Rome. Because this does have an uh, impact on the health. And I believe in Rome, it was even starting to ruin some of the leaders, man. So. We're back in Rome, man. OK, we're back in Rome. As a matter of fact, let's see if we can find a quick video on it. Let's see here. Let's get that out of here. Hey, one second. Let's see here. See here, I typed in lead. All right, in the water in Rome, and there you go. You just look up particular if you want more history on it. Okay. Talks about here how artificial sweetener may have destroyed the Roman Empire. Hmm. I wonder what that, uh, well, it talks about lead, but I wonder what that artificial sweetener is. Because you have artificial sweeteners here destroying this empire and the health of the people. All right. So there you go. All right, proof that the scriptures, <laughs> we're in Rome, man. We're in Rome, man. There you go. What does lead poisoning do to your brain? And the people here are dumbed down. They're through. There's also, um, I forget, uh, something that, what's that, the name of that particular uh, poisoning? It's also, um, what is in the water? It destroys your pineal gland, man. Okay. It's not lead per se, but there's something else. There's another uh, chemical in the water. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can find it. Let's see here. It attacks your pineal gland, but I can't remember the name of it. It's not lead. And it's it's right on it's right on the end of my tongue, um, but it's not mercury. Forever Chemicals is is a, is another, you know that's one. 
Okay, if you want to look that up, you know, Forever Chemicals, U.S. drinking water widely contaminated with Forever Chemicals. Okay, that's one you can look up as well. But we're pretty much in Rome all over again, man. And that's the point of the lesson. I don't want to harbor um, too far on it, but man, this this goddamn devil, man. What are for, Forever Chemicals? Let me just look it up. I've heard a, a lot about it. A move to rain and cancer causing forever chemicals, which is, we, we, come on now, man. 120,000 U.S. sites fear to handle harmful PFAS's forever chemicals. Hmm. Was in the news now. The Biden administration launches roadmap to tackle pollution. It's too late. All right. The uh, the only answer is to destroy them, which destroy the earth. OK, people don't realize the uh, the, the evil that this man has done. <laughs> U.S. company taken to EU court over toxic forever chemicals. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, finish it off with this scripture, though. Let's go back here. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof so that true judgment doesn't go out. If not, where and who is he? Job 9 and 25. Now my days are swifter than the post. They flee away. They see no good. Your days are filled with overthinking, you know, anxiety, you know, headaches, body aches. Can't remember a damn thing. All right, because the the wicked is in rulership. Your days are now passed away as the swift ships, as the eagle that hastes to prey. Right, we we die young. Okay, and it has a lot to do with the poisoning in the food and in the waters, man. So let's uh, finish off here in Daniel, the seventh chapter, in the 25th verse, speaking of Babylon the Great. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws that favor him in his agenda. OK, throw you off constantly. <laughs> Daylight savings. OK, and in ancient Babylon, they did something similar with the time. So we're back in Babylon again. It says, and they shall be given into his hands unto a time, a time and a dividing of times. That 350 years where he just had his way, where we had no, you know, uh, we, we, we didn't have any understanding. Where well, the Lord sent the understanding at around 1970, late 60s, uh, early 70s, it says, but the judgment shall sit. So this is the last captivity, which clearly is the Edomites when you go to the book of Lamentations 4. But the judgment shall sit and shall take away his dominion and consume it. And to consume it and to destroy it and to the end. And what's next? Once Esau is the end, what's next? And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Okay. And all dominion shall observe and obey him. Okay. Serve and obey him. So that's what's next. Because if this devil was to continue... No flesh will be saved. Mark 13 and 20, and except the Lord have shortened those days, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake whom the Lord have chosen, he have shortened those days. So we're about to get the hell up out of here, man. Because just imagine what we don't know. Shalom.